Hello, I'm Zach from HKN. Today we're doing a problem from ECE 2001. And I will step aside for a moment so you can draw this circuit if you want to. All right, the method we're using to solve this circuit is called node voltage analysis. What, what we aim to do is find the voltage of every node in the circuit, and those values can be used to solve for any value you want to find in the circuit. Now, the first thing, first thing we want to do is assign a ground node, or zero volts. And the best way to go about this is to take the most complicated node to be zero volts, which looks like probably this node right here. So this will be our ground. Now, we need to find any other nodes in the circuit. If we look up here, we have this node. If we look here, this is a node. And we might want to say that this and this are a node. But if you step back and look, this is an open circuit. That means no current can flow in this branch, and therefore the voltage on this side of the resistor is the same on this, as on this side of the resistor, and the same with this resistor. So essentially, we can get rid of these resistors. And then these are just parts of these two nodes. So we have two unknown nodes. Now, the principle we are going to use to solve for these is called Kirchhoff's current law. That states that the sum of all of the currents leaving any node is going to equal zero. And furthermore, we need a way to define currents leaving the node. For that, we will use a rearranged form of Ohm's law. Current is equal to voltage over resistance. Okay, so we will assign currents leaving these nodes. We'll go a current here. We'll go a current here. Current here. And we'll call this node A. Now, We'll go a current here, current there, current there, a current here, and we will call this node B. Now, using this, we can get these currents in terms of our unknown voltages and resistor values. So, we'll start at this node. This current, as we mentioned before, is zero. No current can flow through that gap. Next, this current is the voltage of this node minus the voltage of that node divided by this resistor value. So we have VA minus zero volts all of that over 10 ohms. Next, this current is defined by that current source, which is 10 amps. Now, since that's all of the currents leaving the node, they sum to zero. Next, we'll get an equation using this node. This current is also defined by this source, but since they point in opposite directions, this current is actually negative 10 amps. Next, this current is also defined by its source, 
and they also flow in opposite directions. So again, we have negative 10 amps. Next, this current is defined by this source. They point in opposite directions. We have negative 15 amps. And finally, this current will be the voltage of this node minus this voltage divided by that resistor value. And since that's all of the currents leaving that node, again, we'll sum to zero. Now, we have two unknowns and two equations. So we should be able to solve them and get the values of these nodes with reference to that node, ground. So, first we'll use equation one to find VA. And that is going to equal minus 10 amps, uh, we'll go VA, minus 10 amps times 10 ohms, which equals negative 100 volts. This is the actual value of VA. Next, we will find VB using this equation. Now, if we rearrange this equation, we have VB is equal to 35 amps times 50 ohms minus plus, sorry, plus 500 volts. Now all of that is equal to 2,250 volts. That is the value of the voltage at node B. So we can take our names of these and replace them with the voltage. Okay, so now we can use these voltages to find any value your instructor wanted from this circuit. So we'll start with VAB. VAB is the voltage across that gap, which is also equal to the voltage across here which is negative 100 volts. VA, VAB, my bad, is equal to negative 100 volts. Next, we'll do V1, which is right here. Again, the only thing across this is, sorry, that's just the voltage across that resistor, which is also negative 100 volts. Next, we want V2, which is the voltage across this resistor. So, we know this is zero volts. We know this is 2,250 uh, 2, volts, and that this is 500 volts. So, the voltage across here is going to be 2,250 minus this 500 volts. V2 is equal to 2250 minus 500, which is equal to 1750 volts. That is the voltage across that resistor. And finally, we want V3 which is the voltage 
from here to there across that source. Now, we have to be careful about the direction, the polarity of this. So, we need to take this voltage and subtract this voltage from it to get the voltage from here to there. So, we have V3 is equal to negative 100 volts minus 2,250. which is going to equal negative 2,350 volts. And again, that's negative 2,350 volts because the writing is a little bit crammed. All right, I think that is concludes.